Hi! In this tutorial, I'd like to review the steps required to implement cascading input controls for ad hoc report created from ad hoc view with filters. Let me outline the steps we will go through. We will create an ad hoc view and related ad hoc report with two filters. Using JasperSoft Studio, we will review ad hoc view and report structure and input controls details. We will modify ad hoc view child input control query to filter values based on the parent input control uh, selected value. And finally, we verify input controls behavior in the report. So, I already created a table ad hoc view based on Sugar CRM sample database or this table. The table contains fields ship country and ship city, which were used to filter data. Let me show the view. Here is a filter for ship country field and ship city field. As you can see, these filters are independent of each other. After you select a specific country, all cities from the database are available in the list, regardless of which country is selected. Let's select uh, Mexico, but the list of ship city still contains all the cities. So, my purpose is to restrict the list of cities per country selected in the first filter. Ship country should be a parent input control and ship city a child input control. Unfortunately, there is no way to achieve this requirement in ad hoc view, but it is possible to implement in a report created from this ad hoc view. This is what we will do. Okay, first, let's create a report from this ad hoc view using a default report template. Let's save this report. And let's check the report input controls behavior. As we can see, this behavior is the same as in the ad hoc view. That is, a list of cities is independent of the selected country. Once created the uh, required ad hoc view and the report, let's review various structures in JasperSoft Studio. As you can see, the report unit does not contain any input controls. Instead, the server uses input controls of related ad hoc view. Jasper Report Server automatically creates input control for each ad hoc view filter. Input control ID consists of field name followed by underscore character and one digit. Here we see the input control name and input control internal ID. For example, for field name ship country, the ID is ship country underscore run. And for input control with field name ship city, the ID is ship city underscore one. Data source of that input control is a domain used to create ad hoc view. Here we see. Accordingly, domain query language is used to select input control list of values from the domain. Here we see the query. In order to restrict list of cities of a child input control, we have to modify domain query. Domain based queries are uh, use the domiel language to query the data. 
It's not a SQL and therefore you cannot use the, syntax, the same syntax for parameters. For example, parameters do not need the dollar sign curly bracket syntax. Instead, the field name is referenced. So, in order to filter data of ship city child control, we have to add specific line. Here's the code. In this code, uh, ship country underscore one uh, is an internal ID of parrot input control. This directive makes the input control filter list of cities based on selected country. Let's save the changes. Okay, and now let's verify the output. Let's open our report. As you can see, once selected a specific country, the list of cities is automatically populated by cities of this country only. Let's select UK. And the list of cities contains only United Kingdom cities. Let's select USA. And the list of cities contains United States of America cities. Please note that if you have a few reports created from this ad hoc queue, each of them will be affected. If you need to modify input control behaviors for a specific report only, you can just copy ad hoc views input controls into that specific report you need. Let me show this. Let's create another report. Save it. Let's check the report you need. Internal structures. And what we should do is just to copy one by one input controls from ad hoc view into report you need. and modify this input control directly within this unit. Okay, let's rename it, rename it to show you that uh, this specific input control will be used when you open this report. Let's check this specific report input controls modified. As we can see, the Jasper Plus server uses input control of this specific unit instead of ad hoc view input control. But the behavior is the same. So, I hope this video was useful and uh, thank you for your time.